GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. My name is Peter Virgil Olympio, a house of Virgil Rottweiler Kennels, Ghana, West Africa. Charlie, GH Dog TV, the best. I need you all here. Call him, worry him. Call him for all your doggy events, your kennel uh, videos, and everything. See, we have something good with him, Charlie. Whoa. Wow, check out this beautiful dog right here. Now, dog lovers, welcome to GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. And my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. On today's episode, we are visiting a Doberman kennel. And so, if you're a Doberman lover, this is the right video for you but then if you're new on our channel i'll kindly urge you to kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content let's go for a quick break we'll be back shortly my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger having trouble dealing with ticks mites and fleas infestations on your dogs Use Bravecto Chew. Just give your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew and they will be free from ticks, mites and fleas for 12 good weeks. Visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of Bravecto Chew now. For wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Bravecto Chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto Chew. Your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas, and mite infestations. Welcome back to the show. Today, I told you we are at a Doberman kennel. Today, I'll be getting interactive with a Doberman breeder, and I'm sure you're already loving the scenes right here not your regular doberman but then before i introduce my guest for today's show let me acknowledge our proud sponsors Josira pet food Josira pet food you have dogs you are looking for a dog food to feed them their contact details are on our screen just link up with them give them give them a call go to any pet shop and get any product from Josira pet food the pet food with passion pet food with passion they, they they come with a variety of products ranging from wet food dry food they've got sauces they've got dog food for every dog at every stage of life puppies adults pregnant dogs and trust me they they, they even have dog food for diet sensitive dogs yes which are hypoallergenic and grain free and they are proudly made in germany so just pick the contact details on our screen just link up with them or go to any pet shop and get Josira dog food and then we are also sponsored by bravecto chew bravecto chew your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mites infestations i know ticks mites and fleas worry our dogs very well now you've got the perfect solution for it just go to any pet shop or pick the contact details on our screen and get bravec to chew for wholesale retail just pick the contact details and you just it's a tasty chew you just pick one tasty chew give it to your dog or puppy yes you just give it to your dog and trust me they are going to be free from tick mites and flea infestation for 12 good weeks you can also give it to breeding lactating and pregnant dogs as well as puppies from eight weeks of age now dog lovers let me allow me to introduce my guest for today's show boss man welcome to the show thank you very much 
just as I came here, the first thing I said was, bro, we only get to meet like once or twice in a year. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's only at dog shows where we, we mostly meet. Sure, 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 sure. And I think the first time was at the KUG handling show in 2019. Yes, and you came with this dog. I think it's Cost, was it Costos Dracula or what? Uh, Majestic Costos Dracula. Wow, that dog was such a beauty. You actually got me to love Dobermans right from that day. <laughs> nice one, boss man. Now, it's, uh, I'm really happy visiting your kennel and having you on the show. So, boss man, for somebody who has seen you for the first time, I'd like you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers. Okay, so I'm Rich Mononasis. Uh, Una and I can say see you for Pride of Onassis. Yeah, and I'm into Dobermans specifically, but aside i added uh, boabu too so i'm a fan of doberman <laughs> nice one boss now let's pick it why, why the name pride of onassis uh, i don't know I, I was just sitting there and then i just figured it out. i was thinking of what kind of name i should give to so i was just zooming into pride of russia i was like no then let me just also do my pride of onassis that's all so not necessarily having any then just pride of Onassis. Well, 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 that's beautiful and of course your name is Onassis so pride of Onassis right here dog lovers pride. at least they are my pride so I just added pride of Onassis nice one, nice one. and I'm sure after after watching after my viewers my dog lovers finish watching this video I know that they are going to turn out to be real Doberman lovers because these dobermans here they are not your regular doberman boss man now Onassis, let's start from him how your love for dogs began how, how how did the whole thing start up some people say that um their parents were dog lovers they passed it on to them my, I, I personally my dad was a dog lover my mom was a dog lover so i picked it up so how how did yours start my actually we loved us naturally we loved them from my dad my mom everyone naturally yeah, so that was where I started. The loving dogs. Yeah, that was the loving dogs. So uh, we used to have this local dog. Then I used to take care of it. Well, I'm the only person, so they they leave the dog for me. And then I, and I was like, okay, if that is the case, uh, let me just talk to my dad. If you can get me one, yeah, pure breed so that I like foreign dogs so that I can start keeping. Oh, when I talk, then he boycott, he boycott. So I just relax until later I, I, I choose to get my own thing myself. Yeah. So if, if I'm getting a war, um, do you remember which exact age you were, you were looking to get your own dog? That is from your, from your dad. At which age, the age you were, you were asking your dog to, if you can really recall around which age? Oh, at the age of just seven, seven years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> seven years yeah so i asked him around seven years and then he was like oh you can't take off you're going to school you're doing this a whole lot so later i don't know what happened one day i was saying and he said oh we should get a dog so i should clear the whole look how dog but he'll get me a foreign dog so i should go and look for some kids uh -huh. i went to get a mixed breed that was a rot mm. mm. so from there later uh, at the age of it was two years and then he died yeah so after schooling and then i said i want to get my own thing yeah so that's where i started from nice. yeah. you getting the rot and the doberman mix why had you read had you seen something about the breed or that was what was available at that time no, mostly i uh, okay the thing was i liked doberman but i spoke to my vet and my vet was like i told him i wanted at least an aggressive dog at the same time something that i can use for breeding small small queens and he was like okay he has someone who has pure doberman and then doberman rot but since i said i want both security and breeding i should go for doberman rot at, at that at that time we were naive in the breeding so we didn't know much so what he said go for the rot doberman it's like okay fine if that's the case i'll go for that because i want something for security at the same time something that i can use for breeding yeah. so i just went for it. So, yeah nice one well, beautiful i'm sure my dog lovers are, are loving the conversation right here today my guest for the show is richmond onassis the boss of 
pride of Onassis and I'm sure you're loving this fella right here too. Now Onassis, so let's get to you getting into buying the, the, the real Doberman. How did your first real quote unquote real Doberman, when did you get your first Doberman? Yeah, that was after I was doing my national service. I met this guy, uh, Peter. So I told Peter Charlie, bro, I need I need a pure a pure dog, a pedigree dog man. I was like, oh, humble, humble has some. So went to humble's kennel. I met humble and I was like, bro, I need one of them. So I had to take my whole national service money. Whoa, <laughs> the whole the yearly, the, yearly, the ones I've saved for let's say was it five six months okay. to get just a female from humble. So even now one. I had to struggle. He said he'll pick first. I was like, no problem. I just need a dog. Mm -hmm. So I took the female from him. And after four months, no, after, let's say, two months, I picked it eight weeks. After two months' time, the dog died. I don't know what happened, but the dog died. So I just, I did, but I didn't give up. So later, after let's see, after my national service, I got another uh, job. I didn't see at home, so God being so we are going to job. And then I called him again and told him, Charlie, I still need a dog. I need a female. He was like, female is the evilly. I'm ready. I was like, no problem. I'm ready. I need a female. Straight, I went for the female. And then I saw this guy too, Nianan. Nianan. Yeah, that guy too has also helped me a lot. Yeah. He also showed me a meal that was a majestic costos dracula yes so that one when i saw it i was like okay so let me pick the two pair so that i'll start breeding from there yeah so that was when i got my two months from from the start that's beautiful. Big shout outs to Peter Vigilio Olympio, right? Peter Vigilio Olympio, Humble Gabriel and Nianan. Great breeders doing wonderful jobs. Big shout outs to you if you're you're watching right now. Now Una says, um, I know there are lots of dog breeds. Why why Dobermans? Why you've you've let's say you've you got a rot and a Doberman mix. Why didn't you go for a rot or something? But then you wanted to what is it about the Doberman that really got you? Uh, you see the thing is I I was looking for huge dogs. So I was thinking of grading but I was like grading is not that hypo and aggressive like the Doberman. So later I was just looking for a huge dog. So when I went to Humble's place and I saw his female, I was like, no, this is what I want. This is what I want. Because Charlie, Humble, Humble really showed me two solid females like I fell in love with. Yeah. So I said, no, this is the type of dog I want. Not too tall, not too tough, but moderate and then energetic. So I just went in for that one. That's why I fell in love for the moment. Wow, and then love is still on till, till, till. And I know somebody is watching right now. The person is also going to fall in love with the Doberman. <laughs> just like yourself. So you having the Doberman for the first time, how was the feeling like? And how has the experience with living with the Doberman been like? It is. I, I, I got first pedigree. In fact, see, getting a pedigree, if someone tells you, don't buy a pedigree then the person is trying to I don't know, he's trying to bring what you getting the pedigree quality is the best. You will never get quality anywhere. You understand? Because we are all doing the same feeling. We are doing mixed breed, I'm doing quality. At the end of the day, the achievement when when someone sees mine and sees yours, you'll be yearning for mine. But meanwhile, you are doing the same feeling as mine. Maybe you give I give I'm not putting much effort because naturally they'll go fine. But you, you have to put in much effort, giving a lot of supplement and those stuff. No, naturally, when they eat the food, they are done. That's all. Naturally, they are big bone dogs. Mm. So, me, my man was getting a top quality dog. Mm. That's what I went for. Wow. The ones. The first time you got the dog, the feeling was a different thing altogether. Chale, 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 chale. <laughs> if, if till now, as I have that female, I'll be glad, but it's unfortunate. As I have that love for the first female I picked from her was a brown female like this. Yeah, but still, still the same. As I have qualities, no problem. Yeah, sure. yeah. 
yes indeed they are beautiful dogs right here and i'm loving this particular dog right here as well we are right here with the boss of pride of onassis so um onassis um for, for how long have you been breeding these dobermans okay, i started that was in 2000 and is it 2017 17 getting the pedigree, the pedigree there from 2017 yeah 2017 till date Nice one. And then let me let me ask this question. What what's been your your biggest achievement as a breeder, as a Doberman breeder? At least winning at least just recent show uh, with Anika. Yeah, I got I got it from uh, Pioneers of Africa. Yeah. So I picked that female. I didn't see would do something like that for me until we got to the ring and they showed me just at least was the best in show for Junior. Delicious, boss man, and I'm sure there are some of the trophies right here. If my my dog lovers can see, right here, here are some trophies backed by Pride of Onassis, right here. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Congratulations, boss man. And now let, let let's talk to let's talk about the the challenges of dog breeding as well. Let, let's start with your biggest challenge, and then we get to some of the minor challenges as well. But what has been your biggest challenge as a breeder too? Yeah, it was. I, you see, my my one of the biggest things was just I just wanted to prove myself by giving just a liter. And it took me three to four years to give just to get just one liter. I I don't know why, but that was my biggest challenge because I keep crossing. I have the male and female keep doing it, keep doing it. I did for like four times, it didn't work. But I said I don't give up. Yeah, naturally I like them, so I don't give up until. I gave my first, I got my first liter, that was last year, early last year, yeah, that was even eight, I lost six, I was left with two, yeah, before this early, you know, late last year too, I got additional ten again, and that one day, that was my breakthrough, yeah, that, that liter was my breakthrough. Wow. Mm. So for people who are watching and they think that, um, dog breeding is all rosy and all that. some people think that dog breeding is all about having a male dog a female dog you cross them boom 10 puppies then they start to do the calculation and all can you tell them something no at least uh, you see the problem is understanding your dog is one and then two your timing your timing for the dog at least people don't like doing tests that's the issue. So basically, it all boils down to doing tests. Run a test on both the male and the female. Know your timing, when and when not to cross the dog. Yes, that is the main issue. Because I was, I didn't know. I was just doing it. You see, we had everybody was saying, "Oh, when the blasts are flowing, ninth day, go and cross." But not like that. You have to at least go and test. Just do your progesterone test. That alone will give you the accuracy of when to cross for you to get litter. If not, you'll be wasting your time. All the time crossing, crossing, and at the end of the day, you won't achieve anything. You end up selling, if you are not a dog lover, you end up selling your dogs and saying you, you are frustrated. But the main thing is put your strong test. Try and do put your strong test. And then you at least you should also check your mail. Mm, at least every three months. Try and do semen analysis for the for the meal too, mm. and 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 don't say because you did let's say uh, a progesterone this time around. Let's say on the seventh day they said you can cross the seventh day. So the next time you are going to do no, try and go and do again. Do at least three times. That is when you know the timing. So the fourth one, when you choose not to go, you know within the three. At least two was on the ninth day or on the tenth day or the seventh day. My first female was on the seventh day. I didn't know. And I was doing it on the ninth, tenth, ninth, tenth, from seventh to ninth. Ovulation ends. So that was what I was suffering of until I met this doctor, Dr. Oni. He told me on the seventh day. I didn't take it serious. So I went to Mazin. He gave me his Ramiski. Yeah, and told me when he started reading from the 60, 650, I should start crossing. And the 650 was on the seventh day. So that was the, the last meeting I did, was the, the fourth the fourth one. 
when I did and he picked. So that was where I noticed it's on the seventh day. So it means what the vet told me was the right one. And I ignored it. So from that time, seventh I just cross. Seventh I just cross. And I don't miss. Dog lovers. I'm sure I'm sure you heard it from the boss man right here. He's giving some quick tips. I'm sure you're, you're, lear- you're learning, you're having your pen and your paper, writing things down. You mentioned something, maybe somebody's hearing for the first time. You mentioned Draminski, can you tell us something about it as well? Maybe somebody's hearing it for the first time. Uh, Draminski is, uh, let's say, the machine to test uh, for ovulation. Mm, so that is what, at uh, that's what I use. Mm, that is later. But first, I use this microscope, uh, this an ovulation test. Mm, and then they gave me the writing. I was still doubting. I went to use Draminski. They g- gave me the same thing before. So Draminski is an ovulation test machine. You can get at the vet, uh, Dr. Kony, or you can link up. When I give my number, they talk to Mazin or Peter. They will help you uh, do it. Nice one, nice one, nice one, dog lovers. I'm right here at Pride of Onassis. And very soon we'll get to my favorite part where we check out some of the dogs at this kennel but then before before we proceed with our interview let me acknowledge our proud sponsors Josira pet food Josira pet food the pet food with a passion you have dogs you have puppies you are looking for dog food for them go to any pet shop or pick the contact details on our screen and just get any product from Josira yes they have variety of dog food ranging from what you would want for puppies, adults, pregnant dogs. You've got diet sensitive dog feeds for, for, for dogs who are hypoallergenic and grain free as well. So just pick their contact details, pick their contact details, link up with them. They've got sauces which you can mix with the dog feed with different flavors. Just pick their contact details. Very, very nutritious. Go to any pet shop or just Pick up the contact details and link up with them. And then we are also proudly sponsored by Bravecto, Bravecto Chew, Bravecto Chew, your number one solution to all ticks, fleas, and mite infestations. You've seen ticks on your dogs, fleas, mites on your dogs. Go to any pet shop, get Bravecto Chew, very tasty chew. The dogs love it, just give it to them, they'll just chew it. And your dogs will be free from ticks, mites, and fleas infestations for 12 good weeks. Yes, and you can give it to breeding, lactating, and then puppies from 8 weeks of age. Just pick their contact details on our screen or just go to any pet shop. Get Bravec to chew. And trust me, you'll come back and testify. Now, let me get to the boss man, Pride of Onassis. Onassis, this is a very big boy. Can, can, can you get him up so that my dog lovers can really check him out? Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. Angelo, right there. <laughs> Angelo, Angelo, come on. Wow, dog lovers, check Angelo out. Very beautiful dog right here. So, now, um, so how, how many dogs do you have currently, boss man? Uh, I have, let's say, four, but two are going for training. Yeah, from at uh, Pioneers of Africa. Yeah, so that's Pioneers of Africa, Anika, and then Pioneers of Africa, Bugatti. Nice one. Yeah, so those two are currently not with me, but I just have two here at the moment. Yeah, that's uh, this male, which is Nostros Angelo Del Marinero, nice and then a the female is Lala Fell Song Royal. Yeah, so they are the two current performance I have at the moment. Let us get to that on the introduction part, yeah, their ages and all of that. But for me, I've met with the other dogs, and yes, are the dog shows and all of that, and they are very top quality dogs right here. <laughs> I, l- I love the fact that you always go for the quality ones. I love that. Okay, bro, let, let, let's talk about the, these dogs and um, uh, yeah, how, how you take care of them and all of that. They've got shiny coats and, and all of that. Uh, how is your feeling like? Okay, I give kibbles with, uh, let's say, chicken. Either mean chicken or, uh, listen, shredded beef. Yeah, so I actually, I, I mix the two and then I add uh, this, what's the name, this uh, vitamins. When the female was coming, the lady gave me a vitamins. Yeah, so I, I, I added to the feed 
then I add uh, seaweed. Yeah, to the, that's all. I don't add coconut oil, I don't know anything, just those two. That's all. Check out, check out Angelo right here. Check out the coat, check out the volume. Very big dog, very shiny and nice coat. I'm falling for the Doberman breed. Wow, wow, wow. Very, very confident dog too. Nice. So, so how many, how many times do you feed them? You know, uh, I feed once, once a day. But I make sure the cable, let's say, like three cups with uh, one cup of meat with uh, the supplement that's all yeah i don't add anything i, I don't have any any natural thing i add just the cables with the meat and then the seaweed with uh, what i just said that's all that's all that's all nice one nice one, nice one. dog lovers you, you just heard it from the boss man right here right here with this beautiful dog the boss of pride of onassis and boss i know that um Dobermans, they are very active breeds. So how 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 is how is their exercising and all of that like? Yeah. With the video you saw, I use ball, uh -huh. yeah, to exercise them most of the time. Because if I say I'm walking them, I'll get tired. Yeah. Just a short distance, I'll be tired. So it's either I, I used to have bicycle, and then a bicycle like I buy like I bike them for let's see close to thirty minutes, then I come back. But since because of my uh, work schedule, my camera was around, so I used to give, I use ball, throw the ball, they go for it, they bring it for this 15, 15, 15 minutes at dawn. And then late in the night, I do it alone too before I go to bed. Mm, that's the exercise I do. This is beautiful, this is beautiful dog lovers. And for sure, we are loving this dog right here. Now, Onassis, um, since you are a lover of the Doberman more, um, let me ask you, if somebody is looking to get a Doberman, what is the person to expect? Um, at least the person should be ready to exercise every 30 to 45 minutes. Uh -huh. Every 30 to 40 uh, For morning, at least 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening. That if the person can do, then it can handle the Doberman. Okay. Yeah, because they are very hypo and energetic. They 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 need let's say two hours of exercise. But because of my nature of work, I can that's why I'm doing it 45 or 30 in the morning, 30 in the evening. Yeah. So at least if the person has that time and energy that can jog 24/7. They can go 24-7, they don't have any problem, but at least those times, yeah, if you can help it, you have a solid and a quality one like this. Yeah, and that one, yeah, you don't suffer. No, you also require a lot of space too. Yes, a lot of space, at least to broaden their chest and those stuff. They need a lot of running exercise. So, when you do that, you don't have any health issues. No, nothing, nothing of that sort. Because ever since I got these dogs, jogging and then running them, I'm not going to the vet to say my dog is not feeling fine. No, 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 no. nothing like that sort. So, if the person is hey, ready to get over man, then the person should be ready to jog and exercise their dogs. For sure, dog lovers, you just heard it from the boss fire right here. Now, now says um, we'll be we'll be ending our very, our interview very soon. But now um, I want to ask you this question: If if I'm to ask you to describe the Doberman with three words. Well, which words are you going to use to describe this Doberman? I don't know how to put it. They are loyal, uh, super. Uh, I can, can, I can do two. <laughs> nice one, right there, dog lovers. That's the boss of pride of Onassis. Now, boss man, in case somebody wants to link up with you, before we we get to my favorite part where we check out some of the dogs here if somebody wants to link up with you i'd like you to drop out your social media handles your contact details and all and i'm sure this boy is available for stud yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. okay for for facebook i'm uh, i'm richmond onassis for facebook and then for uh, listen to uh, instagram to richmond onassis the same thing all of them i'm richmond onassis i've not changed any uh, Facebook, uh, just in Instagram, then 
They are all rich from Francis. Yeah. Okay. Your contact details as well. Okay, for my contact, you can get me on 0248-224954. Yeah, 0248-224954. Yeah. The contact details are on our screen. You know what to do. Link up with Richmond Onassis. Yes, I know very soon some letters are going to drop. I've just dropped this hint. So just link up with him. Start booking the puppies. Link up for this beautiful boy. Come on, start service. Pick the contact details on our screen and link up with the boss of Pride of Onassis. And then this kennel is located at Ashoman Estate in the greater Accra region of Ghana. Ashoman Estate in the greater Accra region of Ghana. Now, Bossman, before we get to the introduction of dogs, I'd like you to say your final words to my dog lovers. It can be advice to upcoming breeders, fellow breeders, or anything. Charlie. <laughs> Okay, the advice I, could, I can tell them is if they really want to get a dog, be it Dorman, Rottweiler, Boabu, any other dog, they should think nothing but quality. Because quality is the best. See, having a top quality dog, see, the, the feeling is just like, I don't know how to explain, but it's, it's just too much. When you get a quality, you, get, you have everything. Quality sales. Nice. That's all. And they shouldn't, one thing I want to advise the Doberman lovers is they shouldn't downgrade our breed. You see, they, made it, they are making it look as if Doberman is just a mere dog and anyone who wants a Doberman can go anywhere, anything they just see, someone will tell you it's a Doberman, so that's all. No. At least try and do your research well about a dog before going for it. There are quality Dobermans in town. You see, don't think of spending, uh, like wasting your money. Just spend, because when you spend, you get some, you get nothing but the best. So, don't think of, oh, this guy is having the woman because the price is low. How quality and we don't don't look for affordable dog. Yes, that's all. Don't look for affordable dogs. Look for something quality that when you have a home, anyone who comes to your house and sees the dog will tell you, Charlie. I need one of this. That's all. That's all. They should, they should stop brainwashing themselves with. And then these people, I, I, at first, I was so naive, thinking, oh, don't have a woman like this. No, 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 no. When I, when I met Nyanan, uh, Humble, and then Mr. Kobe, yes, I saw we have Dobermans. And even this guy, David. Yes, that's why I saw that. No, what I was doing at then, I was joking. Fantastic. Seriously, I was joking. So they all of them motivated me to get this super double man. And now, at least, at least, if I don't have any, I have just one male and one female. Mm-hmm. Oh, from I have Ukraine and Russia in my house. <laughs> so they're always going on in my house. <laughs> Nice one, dog lovers. That's coming from the boss of Pride of Anasis. He says, go for quality, 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 quality dog lovers. Now, this is where we'll we'll, we'll end our interview. And then we get to my favorite part where we introduce some of the dogs right here. My name is Solowan. You can call me the dog blogger. Let's go for a quick break. We'll be back shortly. Having trouble dealing with ticks, mites, and fleas infestations on your dogs? Use Bravecto Chew. Just give your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew and they will be free from ticks, mites, and fleas for 12 good weeks. Visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of Bravecto Chew now. For wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Bravecto Chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto Chew. Your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas, and mite infestations. Okay, so welcome back. Now we had my favorite part where we check out some of the dogs at Pride of Onassis, and we've got these beautiful Dobermans right here boss man i'd like you to introduce this dog to my dog lovers okay so this is lalafel song royal uh, from 
my important from was the Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah, and she's one year, one month old. Yeah, one year, one month. What do you love about her? Oh, I don't know. It's it's a loyal dog. Just the temperament is cool, and I just like naturally I like a huge dog. So with a female with this height, I'm okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, nice one, nice one, nice one. Okay, bro, and what what, what about the, our super boy here too? Okay, so this boy is Nostros Angelo Del Marinero. Yeah, also from Russia. That's why I said I have Russia and Ukraine in my house. Uh, How old is he too? He's now 16 months. Yeah, 16 months. 16 months. Fantastic. Well, what do you love about this big boy? Uh, I don't know, but I I just went in for this dog because I saw it from doing puppy. It was very nice. I didn't read much about the history like concerning the mom and dad until later I found out that the uncle was the reigning champion, world champion. Just this current show in Madrid. Yeah, the uncle was the chop so I just had to have at least I have no made any bad choice on getting this dog. Yeah. Nice one dog, love it. Check out these beautiful dobbies right here, I'm sure. You've already fallen for the Doberman breed. But so this is what we have for you today on GH Dog TV. Today we visited Pride of Onassis. Pride of Onassis. The location is a showman estate in the greater Accra region of Ghana. And I'm sure you love the scenes. In case you want to link up with GH Dog TV, pick the contact details on our screen. Yes, if you've got any products you want to advertise on our show, just pick the contact details. You want us to visit your kennel, pet shop anything just link up with us and then if you are new on our channel you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content you can also follow us on all of our social media handles facebook instagram twitter at gh dog blogger this episode was proudly sponsored by Josira pet food Josira pet food the pet food with a passion proudly made in germany top quality very nutritious your dogs will love it they've got dog food for every dog for every stage of life puppy pregnant dogs and what have you they've got sauces and everything top top quality so just pick your contact details on our screen or go to any pet shop and get a product from Josira pet food and then we are also sponsored by bravecto bravecto chew bravecto chew your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mites infestation if you have ticks fleas mites on your dogs go to any pet shop get bravecto chew or pick the contact details on our screen for wholesale retail get it give it to your dog and they will be free from ticks mites and fleas for 12 good weeks you can give it to breeding dogs lactating pregnant dogs as well as puppies from eight weeks of age my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger catch you another time gh dog tv your number one tv for all dog lovers